Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for two options for you to move forward right now. So if you're feeling kind of stuck right now, or if you're just curious about the opportunities available for you, or you're just back here for another Rainbow Harmony pick a card reading, then this is a reading for you. This is a reading for everyone. When it comes to both of these options, it's really up to you. You can choose one of the options. You can choose both of the options. You can reject both of the options. Remember, whatever this reading says, it's really up to you. You have the divine authority over your life. You have free will. Pay attention to any repeated thoughts or visions or energies that you feel while you are participating in this pick a card reading. You might want to have a little notepad beside you. You can even draw cards with me um, for your own clarification to get more of a personal reading out of this. I just invite you to interact with this reading however you choose and to only take what resonates from this reading. This is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. If you're interested, I do offer personal readings. You'll find information in the comments and in the description below about that. I try to make my readings really accessible for everyone and really affordable. There's a couple things right now that are sold out because I'm working on everybody's orders, but you can check out my site, see if something interests you. If you um, need any assistance with how to order or have any like questions about how it works, feel free to read my FAQ section on my website or you can email me. So let's get started. You can choose a crystal in order to choose your cards and get your reading. So number one is the Leopard Jasper Crystal. Number two is the Raw Quartz Crystal. Number three is the Yellow Citrine Crystal. And number four is the Adventuring Crystal. Using the same crystals, you guys, because I have a habit of giving away all of my crystals. <laughs> so we're down to bare bones here, but hopefully there's one crystal that has been speaking to you a lot during these readings. So head to the comments below. My lovely subscribers help me post the timestamps. Long story short, I have dyslexia and I have a really difficult time. I always mix those numbers up when I try to do it. So I want to thank you guys for that. I really appreciate it. And we're going to get started. If you choose number one, the Leopard Jasper, two options for you to move forward. Let's look into option number one. Okay, so the first option for you to move forward has to do with something in love. Okay, I'm feeling the energy of this twin flame connection or a strong soulmate connection that's like your destiny. Okay, if you're single and you're not yet connected with this person, this is telling you to have strength. You might be aware of who this person is. You might be currently dating them or trying to figure things out with them or hanging out with them. And this is reminding you that it's a process right now. It's gonna take time. Rome wasn't built in a day. I love that quote. I say it all the time on the channel. I think in our society right now, things are so instantaneous. I mean, you can just click on your phone and you can get the news within a couple seconds. People are uploading things uh, in real time about what they're doing in their life. You can get fast food. You can order things online. It's on your doorstep within a couple days. Well, not in the country I'm in, <laughs> but mostly around the world. You can order something that's on your doorstep in a couple days. And we're so used to things happening fast. Um, also, I think that when we're younger and we haven't really learned a lot about dating or you're in your uh, early 20s, maybe even getting close to 30s, I think relationships tend to be so fast. It's like a hookup culture. Uh, online dating, you know, things just move fast, you know, you're hooking up with them by the third date and then you're dating and then you break up. Like sometimes if a relationship forms too fast, it can burn out too fast. There's always exceptions to the rule, but I think that this is reminding you that in order to build a real relationship with someone, it takes time to build trust. It takes time to really explore the attraction and the connection. Some people are slow paced, you know? 
obviously make sure if you're connecting with someone that that person is actively pursuing you. You don't want to be the chaser. You know, sometimes in the twin flame dynamic or soulmate dynamic, you can be chasing after someone and they're not giving anything back. You know, it needs to be mutual here, but also sometimes it just takes some time and it just needs to go slow. And so this option for you is about exploring a connection, about allowing it to unfold naturally and maybe focusing on your love life right now or opening yourself up to love or dating um, and having the strength to actively uh, open yourself up to to love or to new love or to a relationship. Maybe for some of you guys, this is also saying, look, maybe you're over here focused really hard on this one person and you think this is your twin or like you have a strong connection and you haven't heard from them in a long time or nothing's coming back and you need to have the strength to be open to another person or to think maybe this is an important connection in my life, but maybe there could be someone else. You know, I talk to a lot of you guys who are really hung up on one person, but you're missing another person that's right underneath your nose or hanging and clinging on to that one person sometimes shuts you off from having love in your life, in the present and in the moment. So focus on what's in front of you. You know, that's a message for some of you guys out there. Now, if you are in a relationship with someone and you're feeling the vibes and just a strong soulmate connection, um, I see this is saying focus on um, the wedding plans or focus on taking this to the next level or put some work into this relationship. So basically, option one is focusing on love, focusing on romance, opening your heart to something new or to the next level in your relationship, to have the strength to be open to that and to have the patience to allow time to take its course. So option two for you, option number two, has to do with something in your life that has come to an end or is starting to kind of decay or fall apart and um, maybe you're fighting against it but this is saying allow it to fall, allow it to crumble. That's option two is just to allow it to happen. You know, have you ever like had a really difficult day or a difficult week and you're, f and there's like just, things are just not going your way and you're feeling a lot of resistance and you're trying to be happy. You're trying to put on a good face for the world and to do your obligations in your job or to be a, be a mom or whatever, um, to show up to work every day or you know to keep the house clean, whatever it is. And then you just kind of break down one day and you start crying and you just call off your day or you call off work or whatever and you just kind of allow yourself to break down. And then after that, you feel re-energized. You feel like, wow, maybe I just really need, needed to give myself a rest. Maybe I shouldn't have been pushing myself so hard. Maybe I shouldn't have just faked that like everything was fine. Like I feel a lot better now that I'm admitting my true feelings. I'm sad, I'm tired, I'm angry, or I'm fed up, you know? Like, <laughs> so that's kind of what I feel like is the message behind the tower card is like sometimes it's okay to just allow something to break down or to just release your energy. Um, in healthy ways. And so this is a message about that. That's an option for you. This is about like getting real. being like, you know what, this is not working for me. I need to like regroup, regroup, re-strategize, replan. So this is talking about on the other side of the breakdown comes the breakthrough. And so it's about refocusing yourself about what you do need. Like let's say hypothetically you have one of those breakdown days or whatever. That's where you need to realize, okay, Maybe I need to plan more time for myself. Maybe I need to cut back on this one area of my life so that I can, you know, be healthier and have more energy. Maybe it's like the food you're putting in your body or it's like the health uh, that you're allowing yourself to have. Or maybe it's like you need to cut down on hours at work or need to look into just, you know, the changes basically to help your life be smoother. Or this could even be goals. Like you're realizing, whoa, my life is kind of getting off track. I need to kind of push myself more towards my goals and dreams. So we see you getting justice through this path. And then 
The Hierophant card here is really interesting. I think that this choice has a lot to do with um, having faith. And I also see, this is saying, think for yourself. Breaking, breaking out of a strict family or breaking out of like a strict religion or st strict thought process or a strict routine. This is a message that's asking you, are you conforming when you should be walking your own path? Okay, so I feel like the option two has to do with allowing yourself to find truth and allowing yourself to kind of replan, re-strategize with your goals and your dreams, get yourself on track and know that whatever you put your mind to, you're gonna be successful with. So you can choose one option, you can choose both or neither, or maybe just reflect on the messages that came through. But I wanna thank you so much for coming to my channel and I hope that this reading resonated with you. Peace out. Okay, so for those of you guys who choose number two, the Raw Quartz Crystal, let's see two options for you to move forward right now. Option number one. Okay, so option number one is basically just keep on keeping on. Like I feel a message you're on the right path, but this might also have to do with taking responsibility. <laughs> Here we go, you guys. So responsibility is simply the ability to respond. So if you're not happy with where your life is right now, or you feel like you're not moving forward, or you have this big goal or dream or something you want to accomplish, you have to respond to that energy. You have to be willing to do the work. Um, this is something I've learned a lot. I learned this a lot by watching Gary V. Follow Gary V if you aren't already. Shout out to anyone who watches Gary V. I'm so into him. He really talks a lot about hustle and hard work. Yes, there's that whole work hard or work smart, don't work hard thing, but I mean, I think it has to do with momentum and consistency. If you want to build something, you need to be working on it almost every day. You need to put the time in. You know, think about when you go to a regular job. You get paid a certain amount of money for how many hours you work. If you only work two hours, you're not going to make that much. But if you work full time or part time, 20 hours, whatever, you'll make more money. That is the same thing when it comes to building a goal or building a dream energy is a currency and so when you put energy and you put momentum out there whatever you put out comes back to you so if you're only working on this goal or this dream every once in a while you're not going to see a lot of return if you've only put three months in it's not going to grow you know when you plant a seed an orange tree seed it takes seven years for that orange tree to grow and to bear fruit it might take time for you to get a harvest here a lot of you guys option number one is like you really want to be have to do with some type of fame it could have to do with receiving uh, star status um, for so for some of you guys this is like you want to become a famous singer a famous musician or you want to be well known or you want to have a lot of clients or you want to climb to the top in this certain job or you want to build a legacy and legacies take time to build so this is saying trust in your past trust in your journey and put the momentum in, put the time in, put the work in. You don't have to suffer. You don't have to turn yourself into a robot slave in order to get this done. So I think working smart is learning how to fit this in your life. Um, I love Lisa A. Romano here on YouTube. She has a channel about healing from narcissistic abuse. So if you've been through that, check out Lisa A. Romano. She's amazing. But she told the story, she had kids, she had a husband, she had a big house to hold to manage, she had a life, but she would get up really early in the morning and she would write every day for like 30 minutes. And over time that turned into a book and she was able to work that into her life and you know, sell this amazing book and like develop her business just little by little, step by step with the little time she had. Consistency is key. So that is, I think that's what working smart is, is learning how to fit it in your life. But remember, working smart, smart versus working hard does not mean just work every once in a while for like five minutes. It's like, you gotta put the time and the legacy in and trust that you have what it takes. So that is option one. Option two for you, just one card. <laughs> it's the emperor, okay? So option two is so interesting. We're getting the emperor. 
This is telling you that maybe you've been a little, feeling a little lonely or disconnected lately and there's a need for group activities. Like you've hit some kind of plateau in your life and bringing in new people and bringing in fresh energy and focusing on friendships, focusing on relationships could stir things up, could provide new opportunities, could provide inspiration. So that's option two. So try both options, try one or maybe just reflect on these cards. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you later. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number three, the yellow citrine crystal, two options for you to move forward right now. Option number one, option number two. Let's look at the first option. Okay. So option number one has to do with cutting something or someone. So yes, this is about cutting someone or something out of your life. For a lot of you guys, I feel like it's a person. I feel like there's someone around you who is kind of negative, who, you know, isn't really celebrating you or your success, who is always like glass is half empty kind of person. Maybe they have some destructive habits that are having an influence on you. Um, this could be someone you grew up with or spent time with or someone from the family. Someone you might not want to cut out altogether. It's just like spending less time around this person. So pay attention. Whenever you have a success or a victory, look around. Who isn't clapping? Those are the people you got to worry about. You know, you become like the people you surround yourself with. And there comes a time where you just outgrow certain people, certain relationships, and that might be what this is. If it's not that, it's a habit. It's something that's not serving you. It could be something as little as you're not eating breakfast and you need to make sure you're getting breakfast and eating in the morning to get your metabolism going up. <laughs> it could be something like um, spending a lot of time on a certain activity that isn't really helping your growth. It could be an addiction, a small addiction, like eating junk food. It could be a big addiction, like hardcore drugs or something. Um, but whatever this is, listen to your intuition now. Cutting out a connection or habit or just maybe spending less time around someone or balancing something in your life could really benefit you right now. And then we see that'll actually make way for intimacy in your life. This is the Ace of Cups, like your cup has room to be filled because you're not filling it with crap um and then we see the chariot like you're moving forward and then like uh your creative energy is being uh unblocked and so this could really benefit you help you move forward now option number two has to do with working on your feminine side now I know by looking at my analytics that 98% of the people who are watching my channel and subscribed are female. <laughs> so shout out to you guys, girl power. Okay, but there are some males here as well. So it doesn't matter if you are male or female or if you don't subscribe to a gender, if you're a they, I support people. I feel like gender is a spectrum. That's a whole other conversation. But basically doesn't matter about gender. We're not talking about gender here. This is about allowing your divine feminine energy to come out. So this has to do with your soft side, your receptive side, okay? So maybe even your creative side. So this is exploring the feminine side. And you can do this however you're being called to do. Sometimes exploring the feminine side does have a lot to do with outward appearance, like wearing soft colors or trying a pair of earrings or doing your makeup really pretty or just celebrating your goddess. It could have to do with doing um, kind acts of service for others, or maybe focusing in conversations on listening more, or setting an intention to allow yourself to receive. I mean, there's just so many ways to connect with your divine feminine. I actually wanna do a series on it soon, so keep watching my channel. You'll see that coming up soon. Um, but this is actually how you're gonna find your strength. Sometimes through your vulnerability, that's how you find your strength. So it's expressing that and, and um, really exploring that side of yourself. So choose one, choose both, or just meditate on these messages. I hope that this resonates with you and thank you so much for coming to my channel. I'll see you later. Peace out. 
So for those of you guys who choose number four, the adventuring crystal, let's go ahead and get a message for you. Two options for you to move forward right now. Option number one. Woo, oh my goodness, we got this crazy three of arrows, broken heart card, like you've been backstabbed, someone screwed you over, maybe you don't have a lot of support from family or friends in your life, or you feel alone, or you're recovering from a breakup or something, and it's the tower, it's just like something hits you out of the blue and everything's falling apart. So this is a message to tell you to have hope. Choose hope in this situation. Okay, choose hope. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be pissed off. It's okay to just, I mean, look at this energy here. This has happened to me before. I will tell you, I've been here before and you can't pretend like nothing's happening. You can't be like, just be positive and manifest everything and do the whole Abraham Hicks get in the vortex thing and la la la, I can't hear you pretend like it's not happening. No, don't abandon yourself. Don't abandon your true emotions. Process this, allow yourself the time you need to heal and kind of refocus and re regroup here. But don't ruminate on this. Don't think that the, your whole life is gonna be like this just because this is going down right now. So choose hope. Even through the tears, even through the pain, choose hope. That is option number one. <laughs> option number two for you is a crossroads. Maybe what you're going through is making you realize I have either this choice to make or this choice to make. So these two choices will become um, available to you. It will become obvious to you through meditation and pondering. Um, it's a new beginning. So I feel like that for some people, this could be like, should I stay or should I go kind of energy? So you can make a choice and whatever choice you make, embrace it wholeheartedly. I see celebration. I see opportunity coming in. I see this time of like the swords type of energy leaving you in your life. And so option number one is just kind of stay with this energy and process it and have hope. Option number two is kind of like make a choice and move forward. And so it's up to you, you know, good energy is coming your way no matter what. I feel like I just want to tell everyone who picked number four, like it's going to be okay. And I'm giving you a big hug uh, through the internet right now. <laughs> so I hope that this resonates with you. Choose one, choose both, or just meditate on these messages. Let me, let me know what you guys think. I've never done a pick a card reading like this before. And I thought it was cool to have like options. Um, I think it's cool because you get to pick a card. That's an option. Then you get to pick from an option if you want to. And so I hope this resonates with you. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're going through. Sound off in the comments below. This is a safe place to just talk about your feelings. Um, I'm open. I, I give hearts and I comment back and read all the comments. Unless you say something mean to me or to somebody else, which rarely happens on this channel. I mean, I'm going to support it and I'm going to listen to you and, you know, feel free to vent your emotions or what you're going through below. This is a safe place for that. So thank you for coming to my channel, you guys. I really appreciate all of your love and your support, your support. You really are my boost every day and come back to the channel. There's going to be more pick a card readings coming soon. You guys let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for pick a card readings you'd like to see. Peace out.